Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Are you excited for that RV journey? Well, we've come up with 14 safety tips that we think will help with the entire journey to make sure that you and your family have a safe and enjoyable time. Because as I like to always say, an ounce of prevention is worth way more than a pound of cure. So number one, get your list together. From the food checklist to the RV prep checklist, make sure you have something you can check off to make sure when that item is done, you know that it's done. Number two, How's your driving and parking skills? It's always okay to ask for help when it comes to learning to be a better driver. If you're not proficient at towing your vehicle or driving your RV, go someplace where you can practice, maybe a large empty parking lot. Just make sure to do the safety stuff, the backup, the turns, the parking, the whole lot. Number three, check the weather conditions. Where are you going? What's the county name? Lots of areas have weather alerts based on county names. So figure that out and make sure you know how to access those alerts. Number four, check the road conditions and construction. It's pretty much a given that wherever you're gonna go, there's gonna be construction. So plan your routes accordingly. While you're planning that route, check for RV height restrictions, weight restrictions, bridges, steep grades, terrain, crosswinds if you go in someplace flat. At Camping World in Gander, we do have GPS that can help you with that. Plus, there are a ton of apps out there that can help you make sure you don't get caught under one of those bridges. Number five, if you're loading your RV for the trip, make sure you aren't going over the allowed weight. Yep, it's gonna affect the tow as well, so be sure to check that. Next up, do you have all the fire and safety items ready? Check the alarms and the detectors as well as the extinguishers to make sure they're working properly. Number seven, speaking of fire, one in eight fires responded to by the fire departments across the country is a highway vehicle fire, according to FEMA. A well-maintained RV or tow vehicle is a safe vehicle. So, mechanical failure in the engine, running gear, or wheel area of the vehicle contributes to most of the highway fires. So be sure to check that. Keep up with that preventative maintenance and conduct regular inspections of your RV systems, especially those things that can cause an accident while you're traveling. Number eight, sounds kind of simple, but make sure somebody knows where you're going and has contact information as needed. Locate the local hospitals and emergency rooms just in case you need to find them. Tip number nine, have you checked all the compartments inside and outside the RV? What about the appliances and made sure everything is stowed and locked in place and you have the keys to lock all of the external storage? Next up, let's talk shore power. When you're at the campground, be sure to use a surge protector with emergency auto shutoff. Just in case of auto transformer bands at certain campgrounds, you're still authorized to use those advanced surge protection devices. These devices are also recommended when you're mooch docking. Now, speaking of mooch docking, for mooch docking, when parked with your RV plugged into a residential electrical outlet, be sure to use the correct extension cord. Fires are caused from using a household extension cord whose gauge size is too small for the amount of electricity drawn through the wire. Use a durable extension cord rated for 15 amps and outdoor usage. Use dog bone adapters to step down your RV electrical connection to fit the 15 amp residential wall outlet. Also, longer cords cause greater voltage loss at the end of the cord. So, use the shortest cord possible and monitor the voltage to avoid dropping below 108 volts, which is usually 90% of the RV 120 volt AC system. Tip 11, chocks and blocks. Yep, use wheel chocks in combination with parking brakes, leveling blocks, jacks, and stabilizers. You wanna be sure to use those for safer operation of RV appliances and slide outs. A level and stable RV is a good RV. Tip 12, before going to bed at night, be sure to douse all the campfires and cover the embers. Patrol the camp area for food attracting critters, small and large, and lock the exterior compartments. Turn on the external lights as a deterrent and lock your doors and windows. Number 13, insurance and roadside. Make sure you have this and it's up to date because at the end of the day, this is your umbrella in case it really rains. And last but not least, get plenty of rest and nutrition before driving. If you're going down the road and you're tired, pull over, especially if you become sleepy. It's not good to try to power through. And after all, you are pulling an RV. Chances are you got a place you could knock out for a little bit until you're ready to go again. Hopefully these tips will help you have a safe and enjoyable RV journey from start to finish. You can find these 
way more information as well as contact information for your local Camping World and Gander location at CampingWorld.com or GanderRV.com.